Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not. We're going to look at what you may be struggling with or what you may be going through. We're going to look at advice from the tarot and then possible energies coming in. So we have the Devil card, which is the Capricorn card. We have the King of Wands and we have the Eight of Cups. So when I saw the Devil card and I saw the King of Wands, I feel like there may be somebody that's kind of controlling that's around you and that you're having trouble walking away from this person and that there's a lot of toxicity around you. There's like you feel chained to this person, that you feel chained to this person or this situation. Um, I'm also noticing the the beads that are around the King of Wands um, neckline here. So I feel like that's something's holding you down. Someone's holding you back. It could be something or someone. It could be... Um, it could be a past memory of someone. It could be a past experience. And I feel like it's it's holding you back. And it's kind of taking the power away from you. And you're having trouble walking away. And you're. Ha I also feel like you're having trouble seeing where things are going to lead and where things are going to with this moon here. And that you are wondering, okay, where is this all leading me? Where is this going to go? What's going to happen? And it's almost like you're... You're questioning, okay, and it also could be that, like, are you questioning that if you walk away from this situation or you're not thinking about this person or this person isn't around you, that where does that leave you, that you're kind of feeling out by yourself and kind of feeling out and alone? So that could be a stressor too. Sometimes we stay in situations that are not the best for us because we 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 have that hesitancy to be on our own so that may be what's going on here let's get some more cards here we have the knight of wands then we have the ace of cups and we have the lovers all right for some reason like the message that came through is that you're heading towards a new relationship but i feel like you have to let go of this one first and I feel like when, if you're staying in this energy, and this is something that we have to remember when we're struggling and we're going through things and then, you know, we're having trouble moving on, is that when we stay in a situation that's not the best situation for us, we are preventing ourselves from finding situations or relationships that are good for us. I feel that it's, that's what I feel is that you're kind of, wondering if I leave this person, am I ever going to find someone else? Am I ever going to find a new situation? And am I ever going to find that new connection? And that's really not, I mean, nobody knows what the future holds. Nobody knows if that's going to come in or not. But keeping yourself in a toxic situation where you feel that you're you're held back or that is a um, negative situation, or if you're holding on to um past relationships and you have this fear that every relationship that you're heading towards is going to be the same that that's going to hinder it's almost like you make what you think happen you know that if you say okay this person's going to hurt me or this person's going to do this you know and you keep putting that energy out there that it's almost like you make that happen for yourself because it's like the, the universe is, is hearing what you're saying is that this person's going to do this or this person, like you're just looking for it to happen. <clears throat> so I feel like it's, even though sometimes there's a comfort in negative energy, sometimes there's, you know, like your comfort zone is, negative energy and I, mine was for years for decades my my comfort zone was what was in which I've said that many times before in my readings is that you know my comfort zone 
was feeling alone, feeling less than, you know, that bad things always happen to me and that, you know, good things don't happen. I mean, I did that for decades. And when something good would happen, I would I would be afraid. But I've I've definitely turned that around. And it's almost like I because I realized that that was my comfort zone, that I would self-sabotage to put myself in situations that would make me feel that way that I thought that I, that was my comfort zone, if that makes sense. <laughs> So here we go again. <laughs> so the tower card is coming out a lot for Capricorn. So the advice from the tarot is the tower. And I kind of feel like it's kind of realizing that is my comfort zone self-sabotaging and is it in being in a negative space over here? So I almost feel like you, it, the cards are saying is for you to create that tower moment, for you to kind of break things down, right? For you to take things down. And then build yourself back up, right? It's like kind of taking down with the tower and then it's building yourself back up with the emperor and that power. And that there's a message that's trying to come through through for you. And, and to, I feel like lately the, the messages for Capricorn is to show how strong and confident you really are um, and how resilient you are and how, you know, sometimes we doubt that, we have self-doubt and then we keep putting ourselves in situations that are kind of holding us down. And... It's, I just feel like for Capricorn, it's, it's another one of those, because I've been doing this for like five or six years. And I remember there was a time when the tower kept coming out a lot. And then it was like, things seemed to get better. But now I feel it, but I feel like the tower's coming out again. But I feel like it's because you're kind of rebuilding yourself. Like the first time was, was to like, kind of kind of realize things and kind of get things down to the bare bones and then you started to build yourself up again but then it's like okay it's it's it, there's still some of that stuff carrying over and now it's like but I feel like this is 2.0 and I feel like it's stronger and better and with the emperor it's like like you are more powerful than you re realize and that there's a message trying to come through to you and, and it's it's as I've said many times before is that these challenges happen in our life not to um work against us but but to work for us and and to show us and to bring us to the next level and even though those are not fun to go through like it's scary it's challenging you know you're you're confused sometimes you feel like which way do I turn what do I do but I feel like it's always looking within yourself and saying what can I do for me oh look at that double tower wow okay yeah so this is a this is a strong message I feel for it's you know with that double tower there. Ah, uh, and then rebuilding. Okay, two of cups. And then we have the king of wands. And over there, but I feel like this king of wands is represent kind of looking back over because he's kind of looking this way and kind of looking over things and kind of learning from the situation. I feel this is a big learning situation for someone. I feel like this is a big moment with this double tower. I think this may double towers may have come out before, but I can't remember. But um, there's definitely something big happening. There's definitely, but I feel like it's a good thing. It's really like getting down to the bare bones again and just kind of really sometimes it's almost like you have to reassess about all of the relationships that you have around you because I as I've said before I feel like the relationships that you have around you are a reflection of yourself and where you're at in your life right and and where you know it's it's the energy that you're surrounding yourself with and I feel like it's a complete rebuild for you um especially with relationships with that two of cups there um, and it's a big learning experience for you and, and kind of, we have to look at ourselves and our actions and who we're choosing to stand, have around us, who we're, where we're choosing to spend our time. So I feel like it's kind of a big realization within yourself is, is okay. I want, I need to look at where I'm spending my time. What am I doing? You know, am I being productive? Am I, <laughs> am I? Um, making the best choices for me. All right, let's look at the energies that want to come in. Ah, taking a closer look at things in finer detail. 
All right, we have the Nine of Swords and we have the Hierophant. So I feel like it's restoring that faith and belief that you have in yourself. I do feel that, you know, there are... Um, Gertrude, Gertrude. I do feel that there's going to be some worries, you know, because there's some big changes that you're going through here with these two towers here. There's some big changes and that's okay. Like you're going to have some worry. You're going to have some concern, but just make sure that you keep that in check, right? With that nine of swords and saying, you know, and realizing that, okay, worrying about the situation is not going to help the situation. It's not going to make it better. It's not going to, you know what I mean? And it's easier said than done. I know I have some stuff going on right now and it's like, I'm trying not to worry about it, but <laughs> it's easier said than done. But also, you know, really realizing, okay, how can I preoccupy myself? How can I focus on something else? How can I focus on all, you know, the other things until I can, you know, get through this situation and knowing that you will get through it. Um, Eight of Pentacles is uh, with them, that person taking a closer look at the pentacle. It's like kind of looking at things, you know, detail what you're surrounding yourself with, who you're surrounding yourself with, and really being more aware of the actions and the choices that you are making. We have the Page of Swords is a new way of looking and analyzing at things, letting go of something with a death card and the Scorpio card and walking away from things, right? And realizing, you know what? I don't need to deal with this anymore. I don't need to stress about this. I don't need to, I don't need to deal with this energy over here anymore, that I don't need to worry about where I'm headed, that I know that the universe has got my back, you know, that spirit's got my back, that, you know, I'm going to be directed and guided. And I just have to be open to all of these things that are happening and a total rebuild. I feel like that's what's going on here is like a, a total rebuild. And I mean, with two towers and the death card, it's, it's a new beginning for someone. Um, it's definitely some strong energy here. It's, it's a new start. Yes, you're going to have these worries. It could also be with the, with the death card being below the nine of swords is that with the nine of swords being above the death card is that you're worried about these changes and these adjustments and that's okay. Like that's normal. You know, it's, it's, it's okay to feel that way. Um, it's, it's okay if you have that worry, but just to make sure that you keep a check on it, that you don't let it get out of control um, and that it, it starts to consume you and almost puts you back in this circle again, right? So it's almost like, you know, you, you don't want this Nine of Swords to turn back into this with this devil energy, right? And and that and repeat the cycle that you want to move on from it and say, yeah, like I'm worried. I'm not sure where things are headed. I'm not sure if I'm going to find new relationships. But I know that I'm going to be strong within myself, that I I can handle whatever is thrown at me. I can deal with whatever comes at me. I can um, I can um, work this out and I've got my own back, that I'm not going to put myself in situations that are not going to be beneficial to me. Let's grab a animal oracle. Removing that self-doubt, right? There may be a little bit, but, you know, removing that self-doubt and saying that I'll get through this. Magic works through you with the scarab beetle spirit. I love that because you are powerful. I feel like that's the magician card and that you are powerful, right? That you have to realize that you are powerful and you can do it and you can get through this. And... <coughs> that you have to have that faith and belief in yourself, right? That I'm going to get through this. This is going to work out. You know, it's going to be okay. And um, that you're stronger than you realize. Sorry, I'm just getting emotional. It's just because sometimes, you know, I go through the same thing. I'm a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn rising and, you know, situations happen and you have that doubt and you get scared and, you know, it's just like, you have to look at everything that you've been through before and how you've gotten to this point and say, you know, I've been through so much and that I, I can do it. And just giving yourself that path, every little thing that you do that you accomplish, if you get up with a smile on your face, if you get up and you keep with your routine and you keep pushing through, like yesterday I was struggling and I was just, I would just wanted to go back to bed. I was just like, I don't want to deal with anything. I don't want to face anything. 
and I was just like, I just want to crawl in a hole, right? <laughs> Be like a turtle and crawl in a hole. And I was like, no, like I pushed myself. I got some videos done and I went out to the barn and I talked to, you know, a couple people that, you know, really motivated me and, you know, helped me and I felt so much better. And today I feel so much better. I feel like I'm getting back on track and it's just like, I'm, I get, pat myself on the back and I'm like, I'm so proud of myself that I got my videos done. I'm so proud of myself that I went out to the barn. I'm so proud of myself that I reached out and I had conversations with people that I trust be, for them to help me, that I was doing the things that I needed to do for myself in order to get myself back on track. So I'm, you know, and you pat yourself on the back and say, you know what, I'm so proud of you that I didn't crawl back in bed <laughs> and, and try and, you know, be like a turtle and, and hide but that, you know, now I'm, I'm coming through even stronger. So it's just like, give yourself that pat on the back for the littlest things that you do. We have grief accepting loss. So I do feel that there's, there's a, the loss. I feel that goes with this, which is something that you're walking away from or that you're moving on from. And there's this nine of swords where it's like, I feel this is connected to that because it's that accepting that loss, right? And making sure that you process that because you don't want to hold on to it and have that some some as more baggage that you're kind of carrying forward and, and accepting and saying, okay, this is what it is. This is what's going on. This is what's happening and that I have to deal with this and I have to face it. And, you know, especially with this two towers and this death card. Is, is accepting the situation for what it is and how can I come out of this the best way possible? What are those things that I can do for myself? Ah, oh, unexpected. I love unexpected surprise, right? It's an unexpected surprise. Um, and I feel like it's, it's like, surprise, you're stronger than you thought you were. Surprise, like it's, it's not as bad as what you were thinking. You know, it's just like you're going through this and you're struggling and then you come around the, you turn the corner and it's like, oh my gosh, right? It's like, oh my gosh, like this turned out so much better. And sometimes we get too in our head and we imagine things to be a certain way or that they're going to be a certain way. But when we, we go through it, that we, like, oh, that wasn't as bad as what I was thinking. I had it built up in my mind so much that it, it just wasn't anything like what I was thinking. And that it's this relief of, um, this relief of, I made it through these two towers and this death card, <laughs> you know, and it's like, wow, like, I'm so happy that I did that. I'm so happy that I didn't repeat the cycle that I, I didn't, you know, keep going with that pattern. Let's grab a wisdom of the Oracle. I feel you're going to be surprised at how resilient you actually are. Because I have, feel like you're having some doubt within yourself. I love this. I love this card, even though it says chaos and conflict. And definitely that's what's going on here is this chaos with these two towers and the devil card and the eight of cups and the, you know, like there's this chaos and there's maybe this conflict. But I also feel that I love this because it's a zebra that has the giraffe, you know, pattern on it. And it's like coming into your own. And I love that. And this is what these challenges are, is to come into your own and to really be true to yourself and to really shine and show who you are. I feel like you're hiding behind something. I feel like you're, you're, you're not truly being uh, yourself. I feel like in some way you're hiding behind yourself. And that's okay because we do that sometimes. And But I feel like you're getting to the point where you're like, you know what? I want to shine. Um I want to show who I really am and I want to surround myself but with a community that accepts accepts me the exactly the way that I am. And I don't want to have the negativity hold me back. I don't I don't want to be in that because that I'm not truly able to express myself. I'm not truly able to be me. I'm holding myself back because sometimes we do that when we're around certain people. We're like, we're not really able to truly be ourselves because we're like, well, that person's probably, you know, going to say negative things or, you know, 
question me or, you know, and it's like, it's time to move on from that. Let's grab a um, Oracle Tarot. We have Rest and Rejuvenate. So this is the Four of Swords. And I feel like one more. Um, there was that my sister had sent me um, when I was struggling. She had sent me a little, um, I think it was a, it was a, a reel or a short from Mel Robbins. And I think she was saying, I forget exactly what she said, but it was like, it's, it's not that serious, right? It, it's, it's when we, we get faced with challenges that it, it's really not as serious as what we're making it out to be, that we're just building it up in our head and to just calm ourselves down, you know, whether it's going for a new job or it's going for a new relationship or it's, you know, it's, 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 it's like, I feel like sometimes we put too much weight on something and it's, it's really not, you know, it's, it's not as serious or as big as what we were thinking. I wish I could remember what it is. I'm terrible at remembering things. But Mel Robbins has helped me a lot. She's the one that was saying, you know, give yourself a high five in the mirror. And that helped me. That turned things around for me too when I had that self-doubt is when I started giving myself a high five and saying, I can do this. I can get through this. So rest and rejuvenate, reju which is the four of swords. And it's, you know, kind of having that time. This is something I feel very emotional for you and something that you're going through and make sure that you get that rest, right? Make sure that you have that time to yourself to process things. And then we have number one, awareness. And that is the magician. And that is so cool because that's what I was saying um, over here is magic works for you. So, so look at that. Like that's kind of magical. I mean, look how cool that was. I said over here with this card is that I felt that this represented the magician card and what card comes out. Like I usually pick one card, but I was like, I felt there was one more card that needed to come out. And here we have the magician card here. So showing how powerful you actually are. And if you trust yourself to go with your gut and go with your feelings and you're like, you know, it's just, it's the littlest things. Just like I felt, okay, I think I, f I feel that one more card needs to come out. And I pulled it and look at it. It's, lined up that it's those little things right those little things that start to add up and when you start to listen to yourself right that you you start being more aware of what your body what your mind is telling you right you're being so you're being more aware of where you're being di directed where you're being guided what it is you need to do um <clears throat> so I'm, I'm gonna give another little example <laughs> So I've been on um, a dating site and so I went on a date and that was a disaster. And normally after I go after, you know, because I'm only on there for like a week and then I'm like, okay, I'm done because of the craziness. And so after that date, I generally, I would just like delete the app and I'm like, okay, I'm done. And for some reason I felt... um. I need to stay on. Like, I, I was like, no, I'm like, don't delete it. Like, don't, don't give up yet. So I stayed on and there was someone that I had dated, uh, like five years ago <clears throat> and we had connected and really nice person, but I just wasn't in the frame of mind for a relationship. I just wasn't ready at that, at that time. I had a lot of personal work, thought I was ready, but I really wasn't. The person was really nice so we reconnected and so then we've started seeing each other again and it's so and I was like I'm so glad like that's another little thing where I felt I was awareness and I was like you know don't do that for some reason hang in there and I did and I'm so glad that I did because I reconnected with this person and we've been going out and it's like the littlest things that you have to be aware of right those those little voices in your head that are saying you know to do or not do something and to be aware of those. And I'm so glad that I did. So, you know, I did delete the app because now I'm seeing this person. And it where it's it's really so much better this time. I'm in a much better head headspace this time and, and I'm ready. And that person hadn't found anyone, you know. 
and I hadn't either. And so now we're reconnecting. So I'm just saying it's like those little things that you have to be aware of, right? Those little things that happen. And the more that you're in tune to it, right? The more that you follow through with those. I kind of had a feeling that I should have. And you keep following through with those things is those becomes bigger and bigger. And that's what leads you, right, to those better choices in your life to have the life that you have been wanting to have. All right. I kind of was long winded with that, but that's okay. <laughs> So let's close out with an angel answers. Let's see. So we have, if you believe. True, true, true. Like this is, this is the biggest true, true, true. Right? If you believe. If you, you have to believe in the process. You have to believe in those little signs, in those little messages, in those little things. You know, those things that you have going on in your head that are saying, oh, I should do this or, oh, I should do that. You have to believe that, right? You have to believe. If you're doubting it and you're questioning it and you're like, no, that's, you know, that's not going to happen. Or if you're in the negative space, like you have to believe because that's the alignment that you have within yourself, right? That it's the alignment that you have throughout all of your chakras, right? From your base chakra you know, and your sacral chakra, your solar, your heart, your throat, your third eye, your crown chakra, right? All the way up, right? That you have to have that alignment is that you believe. And if you believe in miracles, right? If you believe in the unexpected, if you believe in that fairy tale, if you believe that magic works through you, then that's what will happen because you're in, in, in robing yourself and vibing yourself in this magical energy and that belief, <clears throat> you know, that you can get through any challenges and to have the people around you that are like, yeah, I believe the same thing, right? That they're on the same level as you and they're in the same space. And, and that if you say things like, oh, I thought of this and this happened, or I thought, you know, and then this happened and people are like, yeah, like I do the same thing. Right. And not <clears throat> surrounding yourself to who have with people who have doubts about that or, or that question that, right. And that you have, and you're like, yeah, like that's my community. <laughs> All right, I could go on forever with this. Um, definitely, I love this reading. Very exciting. Um, and it's just like that realization and that awareness within yourself that magic works through you and believing that, right? Believing that and that unexpected can happen. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you have an amazing day. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.